Hi, my name is Martin. I'm a 22-year-old college student from Minneapolis, and I'm addicted to the internet. I keep a YouTube channel that I update every month or so with popular parodies of TV shows and the occasional video which I address my viewers directly. Lately, however, something truly bizarre has been disrupting my channel. It was the morning after I uploaded a new video to my channel. It had been a thank you to my viewers for helping me reach 100,000 subscribers along with a montage of myself doing silly things my fans suggested in the comments. So it came as a surprise when I checked how many views the video had, and found it had more dislikes than likes. I had always put a lot of work to my videos, and my subscribers were fiercely loyal, so I failed to see how a video made specifically for them could be received so poorly. Looking through the comments, I saw dozens of phrases like, I don't get it, and What's this supposed to be? Then I scrolled back up to the video. I realized it was not the one I uploaded last night. The video I had uploaded was 5 minutes long, with the title, Thank You. The video on my screen now was 16 minutes long, and its title was just a timestamp. I went back to the previous page and saw the real video was indeed on my channel, but this anomaly had been uploaded since then. Curious to see what it was, I clicked on the video and began to watch. My screen showed a girl, busily typing away at a computer. Me. Nothing happened for the entire duration of the video, and it ended up abruptly ending without an explanation. I realized I must have left my camera running while I was editing. Thank you somehow uploaded the junk footage for the intended video. After posting a comment apologizing for my mistake, I grabbed my textbooks and went to school for the day. I would delete the video when I returned home that evening. When I got home, I spent the next few hours finishing my homework and tidying my room. I ate quick supper, cobbled together some random stuff from the fridge, and got right back to work on my channel. I glared with frustration at the screen when I saw another unwanted video had been uploaded. This one was just over three hours long. It began with me lying on the floor, flipping through a textbook. Later it showed me walking around my room, recognizing my bookshelf and picking up the clothes I had worn yesterday. Near the end of the video I walked out of the room, probably to get some supper. What is going on with my computer? I hadn't even touched it since this morning. It had to do something with that camera. Or it would only be a matter of time before a video was posted of me changing my clothes or drying off after a shower. I delved into my innards of my laptop, trying to find any cancerous bit of code responsible for those accidental videos. I must have gone through every program file three times over, but everything seemed to be in check. I gave up around midnight. I had classes at 8.30 the next morning, and I needed to sleep. I put a sheet of paper in front of my camera, so that even if it did upload another video, my viewers would not see anything. I didn't want them to see. Exhausted, I turned off the lights and went to sleep. I checked my channel before school the next morning. For some reason, it was exploding with activity. Every time I clicked the refresh button, the latest upload on my channel had a few hundred new views. But how could a six hour video with a solid black thumbnail and a timestamp title be so popular? I started the video, but nothing appeared to be happening. I looked in the comments for an explanation. Have you lost it? Why would you post this? What happened to the old videos? Is this some kind of joke? I don't know what's going on. Do you see it? See what? 30 minutes 18 seconds, watch closely. I skipped half an hour into the video, staring hard at the seemingly dead screen. Suddenly, it looked like something was moving. It was a hardly visible black on black shift that only lasted a few seconds. But when it was over, I could recognize the faint outlines of the darkness. It was my room. And the movement had been me, shifting in my sleep. How could the camera have seen this? Was the paper I'd put in there not thick enough? I doubt it. When the video shifted again, I froze. The camera angle in this video was different from the others. My bed cannot be seen from my camera. This is a video that was taken from my bedroom window.